Alright, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Akeen and welcome to today's final vlog. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are on the clock with the 13th selection of this year's NFL Draft. Man, this team has so much potential. I think they're finally getting the pieces all together. They had they added a couple, a couple of great additions to both sides of the field, picking up Mark Barron, the safety from Alabama, and Doug Martin, the running back from Boise State in last year's draft. And during the offseason, they picked up Vincent Jackson, a great receiver from the San Diego Chargers. I really think Greg Schiano's team is getting everything together, but it's still tough because of the competition throughout the National Football League, even in the NFC South. That is a, a grudge match for most of those games. Carolina can, can build their way back up. They picked up Luke Kukley in last season's draft. Also, the Atlanta Falcons, the season on um, favorites for the past couple of seasons. And do not forget about the New Orleans Saints. They had a down year last season, but I think they, they still have the talent to pick themselves back up. Sean Payton is back at, at head coach, and Drew Brees has so much trust in him. I think this is, this is going to be another tough match, uh, um, season for the uh, NFC South. Out. But going, going back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I really believe that this team can become a good Super Bowl contender. This is a young team, very talented, but they need a little bit more leadership. Now for this selection, if this player is still available, I think they should go with him. Jarvis Jones out of Georgia. I think they're getting everything together on the offensive side, and they lost a couple of key players in the defensive line, particularly losing Michael Bennett to the Seattle Seahawks. He had nine sacks last season, and they need a sack master unless Daquan Bowers and um, um, Adrian Claiborne can stay healthy. Those two, those two players can make a good one-two punch. They still need a little bit of help in that interior line as well, along with Jerry McCoy. He had five sacks, so they could be looking at star Le Low to Telly of out of, of out of Utah. Sorry if I cannot pronounce his name. He's a great defensive tackle, but he has a couple of medical issues. Even though he is cleared, he still he had a, um, a heart condition, but he is cleared to play. But I'm still concerned with that. But I think they need a pass rusher more importantly. And I think that if Jarvis Jones is available, and I think he can be, they should definitely go with Jarvis Jones out of Georgia. This could be a steal for them. This is going to be a make or, or a, a a break a, a make or break pick with this selection because. He he had a bad workout at his pro day. I think he needs to step up a little bit, but he's a lot better than his pro day. He's a great player. He would definitely help out, um, be, show that why they're, they continue to show this team that they, they could continue to be the best um, rush defense team in the National Football League. They were number one last season, but they were terrible against the pass defense last in the league, and they can really need a they can really use a good pass rusher to replace Michael Bennett, and I think that Jarvis Jones can be that guy. Now, next time I'm going to catch you guys is on Saturday, where I will give you five more blogs. Talk about picks number 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. I'll catch you guys then. Thank you for watching today's blogs. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.